Hi to all, I hope you're all doing really, really well. In this video I would like to show you how easy it has become to install the Split Dark Team for FreeCAD. First of all, I would like to acknowledge uh, the fantastic work uh, of uh, people like uh, Real Thunder, Chins and Pablo Gil, uh, without whom uh, this little project of mine would not be possible. I will first guide you through the installation process and there are uh, basically two ways of doing the, uh, just that and then I will show you some uh, quirks uh, and features of the, of the interface when set it up uh, this way. So let's get right into it. The main things that you will need for this work uh, are um, Real Thunders, uh, Link Stage 3 release of uh, FreeCAD that you can download uh, from uh, here and you need to scroll down to the assets and choose the distribution for your operating systems and the customization itself that can be downloaded from here. I've also set it up a um, forum post um, in the FreeCAD forum for discussion to happen. You will find all the links necessary in the video description, so uh, don't worry about that. One important thing to keep in mind is that both uh, Link Stage 3 and my customizations are experimental and are meant to uh, test uh, the behavior of the applications of the application, so uh, please use some common sense, uh, do uh, backup your stuff and don't uh, use it on uh, important uh, work. Let's start by downloading the customization itself, uh, go to code and download zip. Open the downloaded uh, archive and extract it uh, to a convenient place. Assuming we are dealing with a clean install, we need to start uh, FreeCAD at least uh, once in order for the configuration folders to be created. And this is the default uh, look of uh, FreeCAD. Let's just close it. Open the FreeCAD Preferences uh, Presets folder, go into Source and copy the two folders here. Let's just copy, then go into Home your username dot freecad and past uh, the two items with this done start freecad again go into tools preset configuration and choose the split dark theme we will create a new file let's just cover the tree in the combo view by double clicking here enable the overlay interface the size of the overlay interface can be um, changed uh, by hovering over the header of the combo view and dragging this area here and if you need uh, more vertical space you can go into view and toggle off the status bar if you want to undo the changes uh, done to the interface you need to go into tools preset configurations and a undo button uh, will appear and we will undo our configuration. You can see that uh, the combo view has um, remained on the right, but this can be dragged into place. So let's do the process once again and uh, go even deeper with the configurations. So I will choose uh, tools, preset configurations, uh, split dark, Again, cover up the tree, enable the overlay interface, go into view, disable the status bar if you so desire, and most probably you will need to move some toolbars to not have them uh, covered. Let's switch to the part design workbench. Again, we can move the toolbars based on our needs. I like to right click on the top toolbar and disable the file entry because it gives me so much more space let's move this one up if for whatever reason you are not happy with the legibility of the tree view you can go into edit preferences display user interface choose the item background color and we will uh, give it an alpha channel value of uh, 15 okay apply okay and now we have a background for the tree view but we can expand the 3d view even more and this is uh, the feature that i love the most if we go into this little drop down menu and we sh choose the show on edit option the combo view will automatically um, 
hide itself and uh, will be raised uh, whenever a um, task is opened like this let's choose cancel or when, whenever a um, sketch is opened so let's try it and you can see that we have uh, the sketch and the combo view automatically displayed whenever it is needed Hovering with the mouse on the right hand edge of the screen will um, automatically raise the combo view. We can choose none to have it uh, stay in place. One problem that we are aware of uh, is that uh, the teaming won't to work properly if the, the panels uh, will be moved uh, when the overlay interface is active. So I will show you just that. If I swap the tree view and enable the overlay, you can see that it is not working properly. So at the moment, um, targeting specific panels uh, for theming is a bit of a problem, but we are working on it. But wait, there is uh, even more. I will show you now the proper way to add uh, even uh, more functionality using the preferences uh, presets. We will go into tools, edit parameters, and the window will be opened where we can add even more options so we can go into add let's see this a little bit better so go into the FreeCAD preferences uh, presets let's add another theme so choose split light save to disk and we need to restart FreeCAD we can restart it from here or we can close go into tools and choose restart go into tools and in the presets uh, configurations we now have another preset and this is called split light but uh, of course it isn't uh, working yet, yet because uh, i haven't got uh, that far but i just wanted to show you how um, configurations can be added to using the edit parameters uh, menu now, last but not least, uh, I will show you how um, powerful uh, configuration presets uh, are by quickly adding some PyMenu functionalities uh, to FreeCAD. So we will go into Tools, we will choose Edit Parameters, with Application Settings highlighted, we will choose to merge a configuration. We will choose to merge it from File, and we need to go into Mods, choose PyMenus, and this way your uh, the pi menus um, configuration was added to your current uh, configuration close this and the pies that we imported are set it up on the q w and e shortcuts uh, on your keyboard sometimes they don't show uh, off the bat but uh, to work around um, this we need to right click on the top panel we go into customize toolbars and if we check for example in the global menu we see that we have two entries for the pi menu one with the shortcut q and the workbench switcher with the shortcut w it is enough to do this let's close and if we try the pi menus now they work as expected let's try the workbench switcher and this one works as well if you want to customize your uh, Pi menus even further, you need to right click on the top uh, bar, choose customize. Let's maximize this window. In this window, go into toolbars and by choosing the global entry in the drop down menu and expanding uh, the general tree entry, you can add or remove entries uh, to your uh, Pi menus. The same works for the workbench uh, Pi menu. So customize it uh, as uh, you like it and most suits uh, your work. Thank you for staying till the end and uh, remember that this is uh, pretty much a work in progress that I just wanted to share with the community. Remember the um, FreeCAD uh, forum post that you will find in the link uh, in the video description and you can leave there comments or suggestions, uh, bug, uh, bug reports for me to take note of. Thank you again and see you in the next one.